welcome dear students today we will be discussing the last important point of migration that is brain drain understand this concept it is the movement of human capital in an irreplaceable loss to the home location or the country of origin means the human which are highly skilled left his or her country and settle in another country that can be for permanent section and this is the lost for his or her home country that is called as brain drain generally in brain drain skilled people moves out of their country and this type of movement is called by the name brain drain let's try to understand how it affect to the country on both the side actually the majority of the cases developing countries start losing their skilled laborers and these are very talented ones and they migrate to the developed countries because developed countries are having the better prospects of life better education facilities better job and the salary facilities lifestyle is also very good that's why majority of the people move to the developed countries so here it is very clear that people from developing countries move to the developed countries and these are highly skilled people this is called as brain drain so here you can see in the pie chart how the countries have their migrants those who are highly skilled you can see the proportion here for developing countries it is a brain drain means it is a lost for the developing countries on the other hand it is a brain gain for the developed countries because they are getting the influx of the highly skilled labor and that is good for them for the further development then what are the factors responsible for the people to move from the place to place there are two factors responsible first is a push and second is a pull push factors are the forceful factors these are unemployment poor wages or the poor working conditions in the country and political tensions and these we have already thoroughly discussed and because of that people are forced to leave that country and go in another country pull factors attractive factors better quality of life higher wages and the better opportunities in the services political stability their better education better training these are attractive points of the developed countries so people try to move there as soon as they wanted to settle so these are the two factors because of that the highly skilled labor move from place to place that is brain drain but brain drain when it takes place it affect to the both the countries especially the developing country what affect it has on its uh, home country let's understand here as the high skill people especially who is a youth left their country the economic growth slows down because there are no talented youth present in that country so the economy slows down at this economy slows down there are no better industries no better business developed so employment generation also very less as the employment is less automatically the wages are also less and because of that people get a very low amount of salary so the standard of living also becomes very less and that can be seen in developing countries more and more government loses the tax taxes because there is no proper business setup no industry setup no job setup that's why intellectual capital also lost and because of that the quality and the productivity of industrial area also reduces because highly skilled people move from country to country definitely that developing country will leave its 
productivity so the industries cannot be developed in a proper way few more points innovations and ideas are lost as the people move which are highly skilled there are no innovations are done by the youth and by the people so they live in the minimum minimal industries and minimal standards and also there is a loss of investment in education of youth the youth for which the developing countries are providing the better education and the training after completion of education they try to settle in developed countries so it is gradually the loss for the developing country now overview after getting idea about the effects from the indian point of view if you see thousands of doctors engineers and scientists after getting completion of their education they migrate to usa canada uk germany because there are better facilities job and the salaries even some students those who want to study abroad through the scholarships through the entrance they do not return because they have acquainted with the good lifestyle there high class jobs and the salaries so they will never return to the country and because of these kind of factors india every year loses the high proportion of its skilled manpower and they go to the developed countries and this is how the brain drain affects to the india also that's all about the brain drain now here overall migration that we have discussed its types its effects its negative and positive impact how it affects to the whole world in the population migration is not a geographical phenomena means only movement is not there it also have the effect of social economic and cultural phenomena and it is mostly impacting on the language of that particular area on the culture and political policies and also the income generation finally it affects to the demand and supply of labor also overall if you see the migration affects to the every aspect of the life historically migration has molded the demographic of the world demographic in the sense populations and it is quite true also just like there is a huge influx of indian workers in uae dubai and qatar countries where you can see the labor scarcity has been easily reduced and that's why they are developing in a very fastest way migration also gives rise to the new regions just like latin america new ethnic groups okay just like mulattoes mestizos and the zambos mulattoes and the mestizos and zambos are the mixed breeds of spanish and other countries and african and american countries so when these two different countries people get married they form one different race these are called by the name mulattoes mestizos and zambos there is a creation of fusion music also that is a mixed music of different countries you can see there is a mixed cuisine in the sense food the style of preparing the food is also different and it is affected because when when one indian go to australia indian carry its food style and this is mixed with australian food style and you can get something new cuisine even the costumes that is a dress up and overall it affects to have such kind of a language also that is american language the new english has been developed so these are the impact widely we can see of migration hope that the lesson what we have discussed regarding the migration it is clear to you in the next lesson we will be discussing the new chapter till then take care of yourself thanks a lot for watching